Today's prayer meditation is on Proverbs 16. I make plans for the future, but Father, I know that you will ultimately direct my steps. I am not in love with my own opinions. Before I do anything, I put my trust totally in you and not myself. Then every plan I make succeeds. Father, you work everything together to accomplish your purpose. Even the wicked are included in your plans. You detest the proud of heart, and the proud are destined to fall. I avoid evil through surrendered worship and by fearing you, Father. The power of your faithful love removes sin's guilt and grip over me. When I make right decisions that please you, you are able to activate grace to turn former enemies into friends. I know it is better to have little with a heart that loves justice than to be rich and not have you on my side. Even though I make plans in my heart for my future, I am not set on the steps I need to take, but follow the steps that you choose for me. I speak your revelation truth and am careful in the decisions I make. I know you expect me to be fair in every business deal. Father, you are the one who sets the standards for righteousness. I despise wrongdoing. I know that true authority to rule and reign with Christ is built on the foundation of his righteousness. I love to hear godly counsel, and I love those who tell me the truth, even when it isn't pleasant to hear. Life-giving light streams from your presence, Father, and your favor is showered upon me because I please you. Everyone wants gold, but I would rather have wisdom. Wisdom's worth is far greater. Silver is sought after, but I prefer a heart of understanding. It yields a greater return. I have repented from evil and am traveling on the highway of holiness. I protect purity, and in doing so, I protect my life. I do not boast, for it would end up being a prophecy of a future failure. I know that the higher I lift myself up in pride, the harder I'll fall in disgrace. It's better to be meek and lowly and live among the poor than to live high and mighty among the rich and famous. I am skilled in business, but the prosperity I can find there is nothing compared to the blessings I receive by trusting in you, Father. I am discerning and have a wise heart. I speak sweetly to others, and my words are even more convincing. Wisdom is a deep well of understanding, opened up within me as a fountain of life for others. But it's senseless to try to instruct a fool. Winsome words pour from my heart, adding value to all I teach. Nothing is more appealing than speaking beautiful, life-giving words, for they release sweetness to our souls and inner healing to our spirits. I do not follow the path that seems right, Father, but rely on you to show me the right one to take. My life motivation comes from the deep longings of my heart, and the passion to see them fulfilled urges me onward. I do not fear growing old. I know that age with wisdom will crown me with dignity and honor for it takes a lifetime of righteousness to acquire it. I do not want to be a mighty warrior. I would rather be known as one who is patient and slow to anger. I do not want to conquer a city. I would rather conquer myself and rule over my temper. Some rely on winning the lottery or rolling the dice for a good life, but Father, your will is greater than any luck. I choose to live in the blessings of your will.
so be it. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.